working on a Mercedes. This is a May mattress. Mercedes Benz. 2016 with a 2.0 version, the 2.0 engine. Turbo. And I'm doing the PCV valve thingy, the catch, oil catch can air oil separator. And this is it. This part is on top and then it goes around towards the driver's side and then this is attached to the block more or less and that's the difficult bit. Guys, this job sucks. All right, so up top, I'm not even gonna get into it because it's simple. Just unhook every single line. Three hoses, harness here, and then obviously there's two clamps on each side, right? Obvious stuff. Then you just follow this hose here. There's another, I believe it's a 10 mil, eight or 10, whatever, here, right on top. And then you can, from the top, you can still undo this hose clamp here, undo this harness, and then this just kind of slides out. It's attached to this bracket. All this from the top. And then it's then that's all all you got left is just just these three bolts here okay one here and then two on this side and i believe this is i don't know actually but either like this or like that and to get to that oh boy so as you can see you need to raise the engine i just use the bar there is a an eyelid on the cylinder head right here which you can use to lift the engine up or lift it from the bottom and then just suspend it on your on a bar and you can see it's supported it just it just enough of this bar fully extended i put a block over there so it's even got to remove the reservoir coolant reservoir tank Undo the harness so you can you have more room to play around. Just kind of stick it somewhere so it's out of your way, and you're going to be down there, but underneath. Well, well, we'll get to the top later. Hope you're going to see this. This is the harness you got to get to, and it's going to the right. This is the harness you unplug from that, right? Whatever you call that thing. Anyway, so you want you need to remove this engine mount bracket as you can see it's it's loose there's four bolts there's semi kind of well everything's difficult on this job but it's doable and then I could not I had it removed right but I could not twist it around enough for me to get it out so I removed the actual mount which is this guy here you can see I left it in there, kind of stopped taking the brake from, from this, just to show you. So now I'm going to take this out, the bottom piece, the actual mount, and then the bracket. Hopefully that's going to come out. Here are some of the tools and bolts. So, let's see, these three are from the actual mount. They go from the top down. This guy, these four are from the engine mount bracket going attached to the engine. And see, after taking these four out, still didn't that bracket still didn't want to move. And there is a, a long what is this a 10 mil long bolt like this that's that goes through the back of the AC compressor. You need to take this out too. Before you do any of that, you gotta remove this little eight mil nut that just holds on a harness or whatever. We'll see that later. And then this guy is the actual bolt that goes through the top of the bracket down into the mount. We'll see that once I take everything out. And obviously there is a big S cover. It's right there across this whole bottom here. 
forgot to mention you can once the car is van is up turn the wheel to the left and you're going to be able to take two of those engine mount bracket bolts off through the a little gap I'll show you where the wheel is there's harnesses and stuff catching on the bracket That's what it looks like now. I'm gonna leave this guy in here. I just kind of push it away. You can see how it sits and uh, the bracket mounts there. And it's got three bolts, right? And it just sits on top, top of this frame here. Something like, whatever, something like that. Okay, so now it's just pushed away. Hopefully it'll be on my, out of my way. This is the gap I'm talking about. Right here. Can I even see that? You're my eyes right now. I cannot see <laughs> what I'm looking at. So whatever you see, that's it. Let's see this bracket. So this bracket sits like this and you can see excuse me sits like this just like that the mount it mounts on here and then this is the AC compressor bolt that long one that you got to take out and then this will come out so five bolts on this and there's a little guy here that just holds a harness or a hose whatever so that's that okay guys so through this gap all right so I can't really point at the bolt but right in the middle of your screen there is a hole you can see the threads all shiny and just above that there is that 10 mil I believe that's a 10 mil that's one of them that holds the oil the air oil separator and there is the, the pipe right to the left of it and there is another to the left of the of the like two so you see a bolt and then left of it pipe another left of it another pipe and then what you can't see another bolt basically across from the other bolt and there is one on the bottom which we cannot see and now but now I know how it sits all right so this is what we're looking at we're looking at this guy here maybe from this kind of view and then this pipe this pipe and then one bolt here and then you gotta you gotta do this bolt here once this is loose you gotta wiggle it out I'm gonna assume to get this guy out this kind of goes in you can see this is already lubed with oil I'm gonna put some oil here I'm gonna put a little bit more oil here but before I put this on and stick it on but and this is gonna come out from the top so I can't really show you what I'm doing because there's just I can't even see what I'm doing but I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna show you how I did it or tell you how I did it see you later guys a little update like a dumbass I try to cut a shortcut by not taking this out you know but I did take the mount out and now I have a full view of the lovely separator you can see there it is the top two bolts they're 10 mil and the bottom right bolt easy all right guys Whew, I'm actually winded a bit but that's where it's gonna come out out from over this AC line Okay, and I have to just lift this up. Obviously, I'm going to need two hands. 
I, yeah, actually I could, uh, I can uh, just unplug this here and here and this harness will swing out and I can remove it. There was a plug, I couldn't really point to it, but just behind the AC compressor, you see there's one unplugged and it's actually hanging down, unplug that and it's still... <laughs> still difficult still got to go around this harness here you got to keep this up and then go under this it's just pain in the ass okay so taking the actual separator out, out of the from the block uh, it did take a little persuading took a long screwdriver and kind of pulled on the bottom bolt and that just pulled on it and came out and this is what came out, just a little bit of moisture. I thought maybe a little bit of oil would come out, but not no oil, just a little bit of moisture. This is the old guy, so I pulled on this bolt to take this out. And the rest just came loose, because that's just, you know, it's got a little gasket o-ring here. So this is really the difficult part. And you can see that this, whatever this may be, is no long is no longer on. The new guy actually took that 90 degree pipe off just to make it easier for me for now and uh, that's that's it like i said i'm going to lubricate this and this just a tiny bit these bolts stay there i'm going to come out so you can just leave them in i'm going to leave this too and in we go <sighs> okay quite a mess over here. I'm gonna stick this back in and then I'll give you an update in about seven hours. All right guys, last update before I put it all back together. So from the top, actually two tips. One, for every o-ring out there, the round one that goes into the block, uh, the one that I told you I'm gonna oil it again anyways, is I noticed once I got it all situated and I finally reached the, you know, pushing in the separator part of it, just pushing it in, uh, you got to push it in. Don't place it on the block and tighten the bolts. Mm -mm, that's a big no-no. You want to push it, jiggle it, whatever, do your thing, push it in by hand so you can kind of almost hear the snap, some kind of a noise that it just actually went in so that it's flush with the block then tighten up the bolts, never the other way around. Another tip is once I kind of shoved that separator through the harnesses and dropped to the bottom, uh, kind of situated there, left it there hanging, I went back up and started uh, kind of making sure nothing is in the way, that I put it in, because you know, remember I had to go, I had to go through all these different hoses and harnesses, and uh, kind of went back from the top and made sure that I did it right, basically. So what I did was, let's move this out of the way. Once I dropped it there, kind of made sure that I'm not in, you know, crossing any other hoses, harnesses, whatever, that everything is going back to where it used to be but i didn't connect anything okay so you can see that everything i had to disconnect all these different harnesses this these just clip in around this pipe here like on these plastic tabs okay you got this plug here this holes there and then two more on the bottom pretty pretty simple and then this just this bolts down here it's still loose and then i'm just gonna Kind of start from the top again and continue putting all it putting it all back in you can see it goes on the bottom here under remember this harness the ecu harness get over there okay there out of the way under this guy here this will clip in here this was broken wasn't me and right 
on the in the middle between the ECU and this uh, what is this an AC AC line drop it there everything the whole thing drop it as far as you can and you know made sure this is all good and then went back down and actually I was able to push it in from here kind of wrapped around my arms uh, you know from under from underneath and just kind of jiggled it and pushed it in that was actually took me like 20 minutes to situate it all so that's the that's the hose this guy also there is a bracket right underneath the intake that goes in and then you can see everything that's disconnected more or less and then this this tab here the harness so i have more room that's a ac compressor plug that's going to go back in and just different things it's pretty you know if something's in your way take it out okay take a look that's how that looks now so now i'm going to plug it all back in on the bottom here <sighs> install these two fix it all up on top obviously remove all this basically get the job done excuse me and we're going to take a minute i'm going to talk about it a little bit torque specs for those eight mil bolts don't know so i went with you know i'm guessing my my big torque range wouldn't even go in there to torque it down but they were very lightly tight i mean it was easy for me to get them off so i'm guessing on, on eight mil bolts well the threads are more like for your japanese 10 mil but uh, i'm guessing no more than seven foot pounds of torque maybe eight seven six probably around seven if you know let me know down in the comments how close i was not that i torqued it torqued it but uh, you know anyways see you in a, in a bit so guys, all done, just a little recap, a few tips, I don't know if you are doing it for the first time or, if, or you're a mechanic and you just want to see what's involved and whatnot, but, you know, a few tips, take pictures, try and do this in one day or two days maybe, so you still remember where everything goes. Every almost every single bolt is it's just difficult to get to. You gotta be an acrobat to kind of stay in a you know odd position for a while with your hands like this, and it's just it's yeah. I mean my knees are killing me. That's because of my lift or my ceiling doesn't go high enough. Anyways, when you're uh, for example you're putting uh, that uh, engine mount bracket back on, put all the bolts in. Start from the easiest one drive it all almost all the way in don't tighten it up then put the rest of them in uh, the one on top uh, no the one that's on the bottom i think it's the bottom uh, sorry top left what i do is i take a, a socket i put a little you know something a paper some little paper or whatever on the outside of the head of the bolt and just so the bolt stays in the socket right just a, a piece of red uh, rag or paper whatever you can even either use grease maybe that also works but paper is best from my experience put a little bit of oil on the threads so it's uh, you can finger tighten as far as you can because then it's just a difficult time to you know do this for half an hour okay oil will help you finger tighten that one bolt or all of them now when you're taking bolts off start from the most difficult one leave the leave the easiest one last trust me on this so this job is asking for six hours six hours labor time i i think i did it in like five just over five but it's 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 not 
difficult because of the you know complexity of the stuff it's just hard to get to bolts that's that's all it is and if you don't have any information then it's super difficult then because then you don't know what you're doing if if you watch this watch the whole thing obviously i should have said that in the beginning of the video you'll have an idea so it should get be more smoother for you all right let's let's see the result i left that off because when i started putting stuff back on i noticed that this is well this broke off for me you can see it's been glued on before okay and this goes into the throttle body right underneath there so i did the right thing and you know fix it for the guy just took a whatever this may be a quarter inch rubber hose oh yeah and this was not on this bolt was missing in my case here so i just stuffed a hose in a hose i guess that's a quarter inch into a half inch or five eighths whatever and uh that's it fixed and there's the nipple it actually the way it broke the nipple i guess broke in half so on the throttle body about this much of it was left outside luckily for the guy and for me so this is garbage now whatever just gotta show it to the guy that's all all right guys that's it if this helps you out subscribe to this channel like the video comment you know what to do thanks for watching see you